Baldur's Gate 3 isn't exactly known for its Easter eggs, but there's still quite a couple that are, are pretty fun, pretty cool. So I wanted to share some of those with you today. It kind of probably goes without a saying here, but this should be a, like a minor spoiler warning. There's, there's, there's at least one that's a pretty big spoiler. So just be cautious going into this if you haven't played through Baldur's Gate 3. The first is going to be that, well, Gale loves Shakespeare. He killed my mom and dad! Made a bloody orphan of me! Loss holds hands with grief, even among goblins. Gale is known to quote Midsummer's Night Dream like, like, uh, at least a couple times throughout your playthrough. <laughs> what fools these mortals be. <laughs> what fools these mortals be. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think I think Gale did it better. But what you may not know is that the actor for Gale actually has another connection to Shakespeare. Kate, <laughs> babes, Bambina, I, I love you. Like the wild pig, I long to snuffle your truffle. <laughs> Can I hope that you love me? Yes, yes, I love thee too. I love you. Like the wild pig, I long to snuffle your truffle. <laughs> Tim Downey plays opposite Shakespeare in the Emmy-nominated British comedy show, Upstart Crow. So maybe next time you hear Gale launch into a soliloquy, you'll have a little bit more appreciation and share a little bit of a chuckle for the show, for the very, 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 very British show that he is part of. British humor is a, it's a very specific brand. <laughs> How can this be? I feel my pulse quicken and my boobingtons do palpitate most mightily. It is very madness. And yet, when he practices the sweet words of romance, I do totally find myself going diddly doo -dah. Might need one of these. Quick little bonus here, and thanks to this Reddit user for pointing it out. But Withers actually enjoys some Shakespeare as well. With a quote of his own from Henry VI. Vermin away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. The second Easter egg may be the most well-known Easter egg of all. And that is the Avatar The Last Airbender nod in Act 3. My poor sweet vegetables. They deserved better. My cabbages. My beautiful. <laughs> but there's even a second little part of this Easter egg that you only get to see if you're a monk. Do you know how hard it is to get those cabbages into? Wait. The stomach starts. Calming presence. You're one of those monastic types. Stay clear of my cabbages. You're sort of done enough damage as it is. One of the greatest shows of all time and one of the greatest games of all time, just kind of merging together there. You can't get really much better than that. This next one is one that is going to be really just like a, a Easter egg there for all the fans of Divinity Original Sin 2. The game that for so many people was the first one to really introduce people to Larian Studios. You can get the portraits of every Divinity Original Sin 2 origin character throughout the game. I won't reveal all of the locations here because part of the fun is just, you know, getting to find where they are, but you can see here on, on screen two different ones that I was able to find. For fans of Divinity Original Sin, this is just a nice little nod to some of the best, most well-crafted characters that Larian has ever come up with. Ones that had their own personality, that, that really set the tone for, for what Larian was going to be able to do with Baldur's Gate 3. It's a little bit of looking back, while also looking forward. Oh, don't stare. How would you look after eons in some ghastly crypt? Your people are rather prone to death. Mine are not. Is it still an Easter egg? It's obvious. Because this next one's pretty damn obvious. It's, it kind of stares you right in the face. Down comes the claw. In perhaps one of the best fights and best musical moments of the entire game, 
there's an Easter egg sitting right on the health bar of dear, sweet, kind, totally not awful Raphael, as he sings you his very own theme song. This dastardly devil has, well, 666 hit points. Honestly, this Easter egg is just really an excuse for me to, to play a little bit of this banger because this may have been my absolute favorite moment in, in almost the entire game. Lives, all mortal lives, expire. Souls go to their doom. That, that feeling you get when you realize this, this fight that you're going into is, uh, is actually his theme song. He's singing your fucking demise. Uh, just wonderful. Larian, don't change. its laws. Hell, hell, effect in the cause. Curtain falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm, for now down here come the claws. Our final one is perhaps the one that has not been confirmed the most. It is, it is one that probably requires at least a little bit of whimsy, a little bit of hope, and that's all to do with the founder of Larry. And it's one that literally every single one of you, every one of you, has seen, even if you only played for a couple minutes. The title screen of Baldur's Gate 3 may actually have the leader of Larian himself, Sven, fully decked out in his, you know, everyday attire, his armor, leading his team down into the depths, hopefully to squash some bugs or something. None of this has actually been confirmed as being an Easter egg, but you can see a little bit of the same kind of design in the armor, and at least, if nothing else, you can kind of use your imagination. It's a nice little nod if it is an Easter egg. If not, it's nice that there have been, has been such a, a community outreach to kind of think of this as an Easter egg, even if it's not. You'll see it on Reddit posts, you see it on, on, like, on Steam community posts, that really, as far as we're concerned, this is Sven. Kind of going to be up to you whether you think it is or not. You can let us know down in the comment section below if you think it is. I've got a bonus here, just a bonus little, you know, sixth Easter egg, which may or may not actually be an Easter egg. And it may just me being like kind of a real big fucking nerd. But there is an item in the game called the Doom Hammer. Must answer for your crimes, Garrosh. Doomhammer is the famous hammer from Warcraft wielded by none other than Thrall. The Doomhammer is one of the most recognizable weapons from several across Warcraft's universe, perhaps only rivaled by Frostmourne. And you can actually get it in Baldur's Gate 3, or at least its namesake. All you've got to do is visit some goblins who may or may not have it with them. Just um, when you approach Grat uh, to, to, to buy the Doomhammer, um, make sure he's not on a bathroom break. The true souls are coming, the lounders awake. You look like you got something jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it. The kind of. Kind of makes the Doom Hammer seem not as great anymore. And kind of another nerd fact, Doom Hammer may actually have been very much inspired by none other than Mjolnir. That's actually something confirmed by Chris Metzen himself. I'm such a fucking nerd. Such a nerd. I need to get outside. But those are just some fun little Easter eggs. But if you find any others, like there is another one that may have something to do with uh, Edgar Allan Poe in the game but if you have any other ones please let us know down in the comment section below i just dropped that i didn't mean to but if you let us know down in the comment section below what what are some of your favorite easter eggs 
My name is Red Bear Flynn. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. And another nerd fact. Oh, shit. That wasn't intentional.